Hey guys, it's Tube Review Games or Adam and a long time ago, in fact, the very first Fortnite video I uploaded was the five weapons you should never use here in Fortnite. And since then, there have been so many changes here in Fortnite tech. A ton of those guns on that list aren't even on today's list because of weapon changes. And of course, we have a ton of new weapons here in Fortnite. So today, I'll be going over seven weapons you should never use here in Fortnite. Now, for those of you that don't know and I'm assuming everybody knows the Red Knight is currently in the item shop for a couple of days so on today's video I'll be giving away a couple of Red Knight skins to enter it's so simple all you have to do is drop a like on the video and comment Red Knight in the comment section below and besides that let's go ahead and jump into gun number seven that you should never use here in Fortnite starting the list off here in the number seven spot I have a weapon that is kind of good and kind Kind of not so good it's kind of in between and that is the LMG this is one of those guns that when it was first added to Fortnite everyone used it and now it's a gun that is just there and no one really uses this gun but I am sure with every single gun on this list there are some of you watching right now going like well I use this gun for the most part the LMG is a gun that a lot of people don't like to use and when I think of, of the LMG I think of a better version of the minigun. It's a gun that's I guess a little bit more controllable, a little more accurate and it still has that capability of just destroying someone's base. I think where a weapon like the LMG is kind of useful is in game modes like 50v50 or the 5 teams of 20 or really just LTM modes because in a game of solos, duels or squads, if you're trying Trying to, to win and do well. Is the LMG really the best weapon? Probably not. Maybe at the start when you don't have anything, you know, why not? But making a decision to keep this gun for the entire game probably isn't the best idea. There are a lot of other options or better options than the LMG, but for just playing, you know, 50v50 and having fun and just spraying and praying, you know, why not? But for a serious weapon, the LMG really isn't all that good. So coming in at the number six spot on today's list, I have the regular standard pistol and this gun was on my previous list and in that video I really laid into this gun and the truth is this gun really isn't all that bad it's really good in those early game fights when you you know only have a pistol you might as well use it because it's actually a decent weapon but one thing one common theme with a lot of the guns on today's list is What's the point of using it outside the start of a match? And besides those early game fights, the pistol really isn't the best weapon to take and use for the entire game. If there's one pistol in this game that's actually really good to use for the entire match, I think of the suppressed pistol, but of course, that's, you know, a legendary and epic versions of the pistol, and on top of that, it's suppressed. So if you're kind of sneaky, you can get a lot of kills with that gun, but the regular pistol for the average player really isn't a good idea to use for the entire game. Of course, if you're a pro player, you can probably get away with using any gun in Fortnite and doing well, but for the average Fortnite player, the pistol really isn't all that good, and if you don't have to pick it up and use it, you probably shouldn't. Uh, coming in at the number 5 spot on my list, I have another pistol, and that is the Revolver. And the Revolver is kind of a strange weapon, just because this is a gun that is more of a weapon that's fun to use, and you shouldn't really take this thing seriously. But at the same time, if you're somebody who is trying to use this gun seriously, you're going to get really, really frustrated with this weapon because it's just such an inaccurate gun at close range. If you have good aim, you can really wreck with this thing. If you get those headshots at close range, man, this thing is amazing. But besides that, the revolver is kind of a hit or a miss weapon. Whenever I decide to rock the revolver and I use it for the entire match, I always have these situations where, you know, I'm not in a close quarter fight, but I'm more in like a medium to close quarter fight and I get hits with this thing all the time but it never does enough damage to uh, you know kill them or do some serious damage to them unless of course it's a headshot but when it comes to you know getting headshots it's really just random with this gun the gun is really inaccurate at range and if they made this gun a little bit more accurate and it did more damage to the body at medium range this gun could be really, really good, but the problem is, again, 
outside close quarter fights, the shots, it's just pure RNG. You know, your shots are going all over the place. Sometimes you'll hit, sometimes you won't. And that's what makes the revolver kind of a frustrating gun to use here in Fortnite. So coming in at the number four spot on today's list, we have yet another pistol. This time we have the hand cannon and the hand cannon obviously is the legendary and the epic version of the revolver. That's why we have it here in the four spot, but the original hand cannon was actually something pretty special. It was a decent gun. It was a gun that actually took a lot of skill to use, and if you did have that skill, you were rewarded, but then Epic Games nerfed the heck out of this thing, and now it's just a, another random gun here in Fortnite. The original version of the hand cannon was so incredibly awesome, especially when it came to, you know, range kills. This weapon would wreck, right? It would deal so much damage at range, and if you had the skill, you would get killed with this gun, which is awesome. Having a gun that actually requires a ton of skill, and then Epic Games does what they normally do with new weapons, they went ahead and nerfed the hell out of this thing. Now the hand cannon is just another new weapon that was nerfed like crazy, and now it's just there, right? You get hand cannons from chests all the time, and let's be honest guys, no one takes these things. All you do is you see these hand cannons sitting beside open chests all day, every day. It's a weapon that used to be good, got nerfed, and now it's just a pretty bad gun here at Fortnite. So next up in the number three spot, and speaking of weapons that were really good when they first came out, we have the minigun, and the minigun was a weapon that I think was really overhyped when it was first kind of teased or first announced that it was going to be in the game. A lot of people were expecting, a, you know, a really beastly weapon, and the weapon was pretty good when it first dropped. A lot of people use this thing, uh, and then of course, again, it's just a weapon that, that got nerfed, and then it got buffed later on, and now it's just another gun that, you know, some people use it, some people don't use it. It's kind of like a weird in-between weapon, and I talked about it a little bit in the number 7 spot with the LMG. The LMG is kind of like a better version of the minigun, and the minigun's great in like 50v50, and you know, you know, 20 or 5 times to 20. It's fun to spray and pray with this thing, but in a serious game, you know, you don't really see people rocking this thing. It's more of a base destroyer than it is an actual weapon to get kills with. I really think Epic Games wants people to use this gun a lot more. Just a month ago, this gun got a serious nerf in so many areas. The accuracy was increased, uh, the damage to structures was increased, which kind of just tells you, you know, what kind of a gun this is. And then, of course, just the ammo spawn rate for this gun was increased as well. So, the minigun is, like I said, it's a fun gun to use. In certain modes, it's great. But, for the most part, people don't really use this gun. And, I just, it's just one of those weapons, right? It's another one of those guns here in Fortnite that you kind of like the idea of. But, when it's actually in the game, it really isn't anything that special. Coming in at the number two spot on today's list, I have a weapon that really got me hyped up when I first saw that it was like announced that this gun was going to be in the game. I was so excited for it and that was the Thermal AR. The Thermal AR sounded like a weapon that would be really effective here at Fortnite and it's not. It just really isn't a, a good gun and it reminds me so much of the original scoped AR, right? That gun was so incredibly weird because like you would aim at the person and your shots wouldn't hit. And that's pretty much what the thermal AR is, right? Having a thermal is, is awesome, it can be effective, but it's definitely not worth a weapon slot. The last time I used the Thermal AR, I was playing the Final Fight LTM, which is the five teams of 20, and I come across this no skin noob hiding behind a tree. I got my Thermal AR, I aim down on this guy's head, take my first shot, does a ton of damage, and then I take three more shots in the exact same spot, and all my shots miss. And just instant flashbacks to the original scoped AR, 
aiming down at somebody and then not having your shots hit is so frustrating. The scope they are is way, way better than this gun right here. And if this gun wants to compete with the other ARs, even the freaking white M16, this thing needs like a serious buff. You know, on top of all that, you know, this gun is has a super slow fire rate and it's extremely loud. If you shoot this thing, Someone will know where you are from across the map, right? This gun definitely is not worth using. Coming in at the number one spot on my list, I have a gun that I kind of feel bad for putting it here in the number one spot, but it's just one of those guns that it's, it's an OG weapon and it's just kind of here. And that is the semi-auto sniper. And the semi-auto sniper, I don't know, man. Like this gun is, it's just lame. When I think of snipers and Fortnite, Obviously, the bolt action is so good, and then you'll think of the hunting rifle, and then the semi-auto, like, I guess if you're someone who likes to snipe, I'm sure you'll rock this thing sometimes, but come on, guys. The semi-auto sniper is just, it just really isn't all that good. Uh, a damage buff would probably do it good, but at the same time, like, it wouldn't surprise me if this gun got vaulted and they added in a new sniper or a different version of a semi-auto sniper because just why the heck not? It's an OG gun, sure, uh, but OG guns have been vaulted already, so the semi-auto sniper, you know, it's... It's okay, it, you know, it can get kills, but for the most part, it's just kind of one of the weaker and lamer guns here in Fortnite. Looking back at my previous list when Fortnite was, you know, just getting popular, and I compare that list to this list right here, you know, this list only has two guns from that list, which is the pistol and the revolver. And the pistol, honestly, it's still a pretty good gun, um, but the revolver, I think the revolver deserves to be on this list, but for the most part, a lot of the guns that used to be on my previous list, you know, they really change. You know, having that SMG buff or, you know, having the uh, scoped AR fixed, and those guns were on my previous list. If that had just been changed, you know, a lot of the guns in Fortnite would be really good and useful. Uh, but now we have a bunch of new weapons that were added in that just really aren't all that good. And it seems like just those original weapons dominate Fortnite and there's like really not any new guns that are really kind of taking away or making us use them over the OG guns. Besides that guys, do the video, drop a like, subscribe for more Fortnite videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.